Hi guys and welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new here or haven't seen my videos before, it's been a while since I posted on this channel. I think my last video was October last year. But yeah, I want to get back into making YouTube videos. I've just come back from a two week Florida trip. I was filming out there and hopefully should be vlogs coming but I wanted to start with a Walt Disney World haul because I bought a lot of stuff and I love watching haul videos so I wanted to share it with you all. Okay so I feel like I'm gonna start with the sort of freebies or extra things that we had that I didn't technically pay for as such. So firstly we have park tickets and I've got Daisy. So that was like our room key and ticket. And then we also got another one because there was a bit of an issue with our tickets and magic bands. They were amazing at sorting it out so we had a few different ones. And then pigment we also got lots of park maps. I love having the park maps to look back on or I also use them for scrapbooking, either like cutting them out or having whole ones to keep nice. We've got the water parks, Epcot, Magic Kingdom, Hollywood Studios and Animal Kingdom. In the hotel they had obviously in the quick service, um, like drink sachets, the Joffrey's coffee and tea, just, I'm so sad we don't have Joffrey's in the UK, I lived off of like Joffrey's iced coffee, I also really liked these green teas, so I had Moroccan mint and chamomile lemon, so I got two of each to bring back with me just to make the Joffrey's last a bit longer. We also got I'm celebrating pins or badges. Um, we wanted first time, first visit ones, even though it's not technically my first visit, but it's the first visit I can remember. And it was my boyfriend's first visit entirely, but they'd run out. So we got the I'm celebrating ones. We never wrote on them, but we got them. We also went and hopefully you'll see it in the vlogs, to Ogre's Cantina in Galaxy's Edge, which was insane, definitely one of my highlights. It was so much fun. Um, the bartender we had, um, I think his name was Kyle. He was insane. Three out of five of us are pretty massive Star Wars fans. Um, yeah, he was incredible. He had what felt like hundreds of amazing Star Wars jokes and puns and yeah he just kept us entertained he was the atmosphere in there was incredible but he definitely made it 10 times better we asked him if we could have some coasters which he gave us a lot between us so I got kind of one of each design and then they've all got the same on the back. We also met a few characters. If the characters can't sign they just give you autograph cards. I didn't have an autograph book anyway but we were just automatically handed these so we met Olaf and we got his autograph card. And we did Ohana breakfast, character breakfast with Mickey, Mickey, Pluto, Lilo and Stitch and we all got one of those autograph cards. They seem to only give you one per table but we asked for four more and they were more than happy to give us the extras. Okay, moving on to paid things, magic bands. We all bought a magic band you don't get them free, you used to apparently. We haven't been before when there's been magic bands, but I was so excited to use these. Um, 
My boyfriend just got a plain white one. I don't know the prices off the top of my head and I didn't keep many of the receipts, but if the prices are on them, I will tell you. If not, I will try and put them somewhere on the screen if I can find them. So I went for the 50th magic band says the world's most magical celebration and then the castle i already had the lounge fly bag with this so i thought it'd be cute to match it um it did come with a little 50th like charm like a little bar but because my wrist is so small i had to take the gray bit off and have it child sized and then the charm didn't fit anymore so it was too big i loved using that so much fun definitely made it easier than having to get like take it out every time or your phone, or whatever, so it's just on your wrist. So as we were staying on site, we were staying at Coronado Springs Resort, which was amazing. We thought it would be a good idea to get resort mugs. So these were $19.99 or $20 each, but that meant completely free refills for the whole two weeks we were there. And we definitely made use of it. So there was two designs. I couldn't find any Halloween ones. I thought they always did Halloween ones, but I don't know if we were too early or too late, but these are the only two our hotel had. This one's got, it's got Mickey and Minnie. It's got the castle, Tower of Terror, Epcot Ball, the Skyliner. It's got a little Disney bus. Riviera Resort. I think that's the boardwalk. Pop Century. And then that's the Grand Destino Tower at Coronado. So yeah, that one's cute. And the one that I picked was this one, which has got, again, 50th. It's got Tinkerbell, Stitch, Moana. Uh, it's got the monorail, the Epcot ball, Donald, Mickey, the Tower of Terror. So yeah, they were definitely worth it for us. So, sticking with the 50th anniversary theme, obviously, big celebration, lots of merchandise. It was hard to pick what to buy, but I'd seen these just before we went out. Um, they kept going in and out of stock. People were complaining they couldn't get them online or in the shops, and I was like, I have to get these. Every shop that had clothing items or any of the Vans collection had multiple boxes and boxes of these. I feel like I'm giving it away now. Probably one of the most exciting purchases I made. The 50th anniversary Vans. I love these. As soon as I saw them, I knew I wanted them. They were 69.99 and with tax, they came to 74.54. It has all the iconic landmark rides, Jungle Cruise, the Castle, Country Bears, we don't talk about the Country Bears, <laughs> Tiki Room, uh, the Railroad Station, uh, the Treehouse, and I had no trouble getting them at all, so they must have had a restock, but yeah, so happy with those. I also wanted a photo frame. They didn't have many. I kind of wanted like a nice wooden one. My mum and dad had one with like a family photo in that they got when we went last time. It's like a big wooden frame with like engraving on it. I couldn't find anything like that. The only one I could find was in our hotel shop. I didn't see it anywhere else. Um, this was $34.99. And it's a 50th anniversary one. It's got Walt Disney World 50 and then the castle. This is where the hurricane shopping came in. We got stuck in our hotel for two days. Um, because of the hurricane, everyone was amazing. We were very lucky to be where we were and not have the damage that some people have had. Um, it was scary, but 
all of the cast members, all of the hotel staff were just amazing. Um, kept everyone's spirits up, made sure everyone was safe. One of the days when we went down to get food, we had a quick look in the shop. We were looking for snacks and things like that, but that was all gone. Um, but they did have some offers on in their shop and they had, I think it was 20 or 25% off of puzzles. I went for this one. It's Mickey and Walt statue in front of the castle, well, in front of the 50th castle. Um, this was 24 99 I can't remember if it was 20 or 25% off of that. Um, I think it made it like 17 18 dollars. So yeah, I can't wait to see this one. We also got another one, um, which is like, I think it's four. Yeah, it's the four parks, um, like the icons of each park. Nighttime, like all lit up. I think they're 500 pieces each. That one might have been a little bit more expensive. I'm not sure. I'll see if I can insert a photo of it and the price. So when I went to Paris three years ago, I got the two Starbucks mugs. I don't use them, they sit on a shelf, but I just love the look of them. Obviously, there's more parks in Florida, and the one thing that I was kind of, I said that about the fans, but the other one thing that I was excited for was the Starbucks mug. So, you can see where this is going. There's four parks, there's at least four Starbucks, which means four new mugs. I do collect Disney mugs. Um, I just couldn't resist these. And you can't just buy one. You have to have the whole set. So, four new mugs. Hollywood Studios has, obviously they've all got like the 50th. Um, Lenny and Falcon, Batu, Paratera, a little Toy Story Army Man, Woody in Toy Story Land. It does tell you on the back of the box a list of them all. They were $22.99 each. Animal Kingdom, so again, the 50th. Uh, we've got Tree of Life, Wilderness Explorer Flag, Simba, lots of different bugs. Bugs Life, uh, what else have we got? Everest. So, yeah, lots of different oh, a dinosaur. So, we've got the Epcot Ball, we've got the Funny Nemo Seagulls, Guardians of the Galaxy Ride, Figment, we've got Ratatouille, the Eiffel Tower, we've got Mary Poppins, the Monorail. I think this is my favourite one. I'd say it was a tie between the Epcot and the Magic Kingdom mug because is that not just so pretty? Got like a little Mickey hat, Beauty and the Beast Rose, got Pirates, we've got Sunny Eclipse, we've got oh that's Big Thunder Mountain, uh, Sword in the Stone, Space Mountain, Small World, Dumbo, the Tangled Lanterns, Tink, Tron's even on here, even though it hasn't opened yet. Uh, Castle, Tiki Room Bird, uh, a Monorail, the Tangled Tower, a Dole Whip. The only one that we struggled to find, I think was the Hollywood Studios one, but they literally restocked it by the end of the day. $22.99 each. I don't know what to move on to next. I think food. I got this massive bag of Mickey pretzels, like the hard, crunchy pretzels. And they shape like Mickey's. And they have a little we've seen a ball. So these I bought in the first week, snacked on them throughout. I want to say this big bag was like eight dollars they were good i also really wanted to bring back some of the joffrey's flavored coffee i think looking back now there was a disney spring shop but we never saw it but in magic kingdom i did find these 
I make these coffee. I found these in the Main Street Bakery shop. So we got French vanilla and pumpkin spice. The Japan Pavilion, their shop, department store. I don't want to butcher it. Mitsukoshi. This shop is insane. I'm not going to say the best part of the showcase, but walking around that shop was so much fun. And their sweet like food section, there was so much. We knew we definitely wanted to try some things. Trying to find vegan options, the amount of food in there was ridiculous. They had like little crabs and all things like that. It was, yeah, it was a lot. Um, but we wanted, there was loads of sweets and I was like, oh, we've got to try something. So from what I can see, these are safe for me to eat. So these were $4.99. I have no idea what they are. I take it. Kawaguchi Awawa Mixed Candy. I've got no idea if they're chewy or hard candy. It looks like it's lemon, grape, strawberry. But I would definitely be trying these soon. And then I saw these. Japanese cookie. They almost look like, I can't think what they're called. In Halloween when you get those, like, not the palm of violets, but the other ones. There's like tubes of like, the little sweets. Completely forgot what they're called, but they kind of look like that. So we've got melon, strawberry, lemon, grape, orange. Oh, twice. So yeah, definitely gonna give these a go. It was Food and Wine Festival when we went, which was really exciting. As soon as you walk in the park, they've got a stand for food and wine passports. It's basically just got every stand and every option. So this was quite cool for us to like go through the days before we were going to Epcot to kind of see what people wanted to try. There was a lot of vegan options. I was pleasantly surprised. I genuinely thought, I knew there was a vegan stand. I didn't realize that there was so many other options at the stands. I kept the little sign from the mimosa flight, which was so good. Um, from Shimmering Sips. I also completed the Remy's Ratatouille Hide and Seek. Squeak. Hide and Squeak. Um, it's basically you get a sheet of stickers and this. It was $9.99. I had no idea what you got at the end. Um, I just thought it would be fun to complete as we were going around. So under these stickers, before you stick it on, there's names of each booth or each country that has a Remy figure and he's holding one of the food ingredients on his little figure. Completed that, took that to Creation Store and they came out with four different cups. So it was, they were all food and wine themed, so it was Remy, a blue Remy one, a like cream Mickey one, a green Tiana one or a purple figment one. And I thought, Mickey's on everything. Remy, I've obviously got to keep this, so I kind of got that Remy. Tiana was quite big with food and wine this year, but you can't beat Figment. I love Figment. I don't think there's enough merchandise on Figment. It's that sort of like 3D effect. But yeah, this was cute. And you can only get these from doing the hide and squeak. So the last day we went to Epcot was the day, Sunday the 2nd, which was the weekend of Epcot's 40th anniversary. I kept seeing people walk around with these like prints and I was like, where's everyone getting these from? So I spoke to someone in the shop and they were like, oh, they're handing them out on the gate when you come in. So I was like, oh, we've missed it. Would have been nice, but um, oh well. And then as we were leaving the park, they were handing them out, so, I got one. It's a bit screwed up in my suitcase, but 
Yeah, they were handing these out. So October, October 1st, 2022, Epcot 40th. So yeah, that was free. I couldn't believe it. I thought people had bought them as they were walking around, but they were just handing them out. We also got a calendar. This was 16.99. Gonna open it up. So we're out of September now, but it starts in September. Um, so we've got the Tree of Life. I think that's what I mentioned. Alien Swirling Saucers. Oh my gosh. The Castle for December. The Skyliner for January. Slinky Dog. The Epcot Ball, but it's got Fantasia Mickey. Tree of Life. Carvings. For April. Galaxy's Edge. Millennium Falcon. Toy Story Land. Monorail and Epcot Ball. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. I love that ride. Animal Kingdom Safaris, Hitchhiking Ghosts, Remy, The Castle. I'm glad we got that. I was debating whether to get it or not, but I'm glad we got that. So clothes wise, I only got a couple, well, I got some things in the outlet. That will be in another video, Universal, Outlet, Target, all together. So actually in Disney, I got this grey t-shirt which I love. Got Donald, Mickey, Minnie and I was going to say Pluto, what's wrong with me? Goofy in front of the castle with a little rainbow and that was $24.99. This one I saw and I really, I was like torn between that one and the other one because I really liked the front of it. I think I prefer the other one, I'll get that one. Luckily while we were still out there I saw Bethany Francesca's, like she did a haul on TikTok and she got this. And then she turned it around and it's got all the dates that rides opened. We're starting from October 1st on the opening day and then all the rides that opened, I don't think it's all the rides but sort of main rides up until Star Wars Land. And I just thought that was so cool, it's kind of like, almost like a band, like tour t-shirt. I'm so glad I saw that video because I wouldn't have bought it otherwise. So yeah, that was $24.99 as well. I had to get a spirit jersey. I feel like you can't go to Florida without a spirit jersey. So there's so many different, well, I say there were so many different ones. There wasn't as much choice as I thought there was going to be or there used to be. I don't know if they're making less, whether they sell out quicker. Um, but I went for the 50th purple one. I just love the colour of this. And then it's got Walt Disney World across the back. And this was either $69.99 or $74.99. I'll try and find out and put the price in. But yeah, it was one of those two. Which leads on quite nicely to the next bit, which is Halloween. We did Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. I think, I know I've already said something was the highlight. That was the best part of the trip for me. I loved that. I know some people have had issues with it this year or it's been more expensive and not as much for your money as it has been. We've never been so this was our first time. Um, we paid $139 for our ticket. Personally I think it was worth it. I thought it was incredible. Um, the characters, the ride queues were short, the parades, the fireworks, everything was just amazing. So, Mickey's Not So Scary Spirit Jersey. I was torn between this and the t-shirt. I thought this time of year I'm more likely to wear the Spirit Jersey than a t-shirt. So, Magic Kingdom 2022. And then on the back, it has got Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. And a little Halloween Mickey. It also glows in the dark. I haven't worn it in the dark, so I don't quite know what it looks like. Again, it was either $69.99 or $74.99. The wristband, you have to queue up inside the park for the wristband. There's also trick or treat stations. So when you first go in, you, well, the first trick or treat bit you walk through, you get trick or treat bags. I also got an allergy one so I could get the tokens to go and get the vegan sweets. Considering we only did four trick or treat stations, um, that wasn't really a priority. If we walked past one, we kind of did it but it wasn't high up on our list. 
We had a second bag. It didn't fit in the suitcase, so we had to leave it behind. This is about half of the sweets that we got, because like I said, we had to leave another bag behind. There's all sorts. It's M&Ms, Snickers, Starburst. I think they were hoping for more like American candy. So if you have an allergy or you eat vegan, you go around, you have your bag, um, they give you a token. You can then go to, I want to say there's two places. I don't know where the place is. We went to City Hall. There was no one else in there. I handed over my four tokens expecting like four bars of chocolate. It was handfuls. They were like, do you want some of this? Yeah. <laughs> do you want some of this? Yeah. The only thing I couldn't have was, I want to say it was gummy bears or something that had gelatin in. Everything else that was there on my night anyway was vegan. There was lollipops. Um, enjoy life which I've never had before um, they're sunflower buttercups these I love these lollipops so these are like full sized vegan chocolate bars I couldn't believe that they were just giving them to me by the handfuls I don't know whether it's because I went at the end of the night or whether they're always that generous but yeah <laughs> definitely don't panic if you don't have many tokens because it didn't seem to matter you can obviously get a Mickey's Not So Scary map. This shows like some snacks and then it's also got what rides are open, the show times, character meets. So like I said characters for us was a big, well for me, was a big must do. The first thing we did once we got our wristbands was head to Town Square Theatre to meet Jack and Sally. Their queue opens earlier than the party technically starts. So even though we queued, when we queued up, he said it was a two and a half hour wait. It wasn't, it was an hour and 10, 20 at most. But we weren't wasting party time because we were done before the party technically had started. So for me, that was the best time to do it. They don't sign. So we got an autograph card, Jack Skellington and Sally. And we also met, which was the longest queue. <laughs> um, the 100 acre wood characters, so Winnie, Eeyore, Tigger and Piglet and they had autograph cards too. As you're leaving, Mickey's not so scary, they have these gorgeous prints. I love this, it's definitely going to be framed and hung up. Mickey, Minnie and Pluto like dressed up, they look like they're trick or treating on the castle. Everyone got a free print it wasn't per party it was per person so we got five so halloween stuff but i didn't get these in the party these were available everywhere when i was there <laughs> mickey popcorn bucket i knew i wanted a popcorn bucket and when i saw him he glows in the dark he's just so cute i've seen people put like fairy lights in him now to like, i use as a decoration which i think i'm gonna do i think he was 24.99 so this next one said it was coming out at the beginning of October. We flew home on the 4th. And in my head I was like, is it gonna come out? I really want it to come out. It must come out at the end of September. It came out the day that we were at Universal. So I was like, oh, like, that's it. We're at Universal. They're all gonna sell out by the time we get back to Disney because we were at Universal for two days. I'm not gonna get one. I got one. So this is the Donald a Sipper. Got a straw. I mainly just wanted this for decoration. Donald is my favourite. He's dressed as a candy corn. Like, that's just so cute. <laughs> I think he was 14 99 with a drink. I say we've only got like one more section. This is probably the biggest section and the one that I'm most excited for. If you know me or have watched any of my videos before, you will know that I am a pin collector. I have too many pins. Um, no, not too many. You can never have too many. And I did pick up, as well as many pins, a new hobby, <laughs> which was press coins. I feel like I need to do another video to show it in more detail, but I will roughly show you what I got. So I got the press coin book, which is the 50th anniversary one. I just think this stuff is gorgeous, like the drawings and the designs. So I haven't put them in there yet. And the book was 14.99. I have all of the coins in here. I think 
I have about 50. <laughs> like a really cool souvenir. I kind of got ones based on like my favorite rides or characters. Um, ones that I'll be able to look at and go, ah, oh, like, I love that ride or I love meeting that character or that show was really cool. Like I kind of picked, tried to pick ones that meant something. There were so many machines in all of the parks. They also had medallion machines. Now I collected a few of these in Paris. I went for the characters or the ones I like the most. So I got Wall and Mickey statue, Mickey and Minnie and the castle. Tink, Donald, Goofy, pins. Oh, I tried so hard to find bridge magnets. I wanted like just a generic Disney World one. I couldn't find one. All I could find was this Animal Kingdom one. I thought that was really cute. I think this was $12. They do the whole red, silver, yellow thing. Four total 15 pins. I didn't think I'd bought that many, but oh yeah. have. The pins that I traded. So around the park, there's um, boards and places you can trade. A lot of them didn't have anything I was particularly looking for, but in Animal Kingdom, I found Boo, which I thought was cute. And then Daisy. So they were the only two I traded. I took like 12 pins to trade, but I just couldn't find anything I particularly liked. In the shop, Frontierland shop, I want to say it's the one by Country Bears. I can't remember what it's called. It might be the trading post. I might have made that up. Um, it was our first day in Magic Kingdom. We were in the shop because it had started chucking it down with rain. And I'd bought some pins and I was talking to the cast member serving me and she was like, oh, uh, where are you from? We were talking about England. And she asked if we'd been before. I said that we'd come 17 years ago and that we'd waited three years for this trip because of COVID um, and she was lovely and as we were paying she said oh how many people were in your party I was like oh five and she said oh I hope makes your day a little brighter and I hope you have a wonderful trip and she gave us all one of these so it says where dreams come true uh, just wanted to spread the magic by giving you this exclusive pixie dust pin. After all, this is the place where dreams come true. And it's Tink. And it says where dreams come true. I tried to get pins that was either, that sort of were attached to like a memory or a like a special thing. So me and my boyfriend went to Typhoon Goon one of the days. It was so much fun. Uh, we went there when I was a kid. One of the things I could actually remember. And yeah, it was just so much fun to go back. So I got the Typhoon Lagoon pin. Stitch on a little surfboard. I thought that was cute. So that is silver. Which is... I'm going to look this up. <laughs> so it looks like since I've been back, the prices have gone up. But when I was there, silver was 9 99 and yellow was 12 99 and I think all of the pins are either silver or yellow. So yeah, 9 99 for the Typhoon Lagoon pin. They had lots of like different 50th anniversary pins. There was like one with Mickey and Minnie at the castle and they had this style, which is like the 50th with different characters. So I think there was Goofy, I wanna say Goofy and Pluto. I couldn't find Mickey and Minnie anywhere. Chip and Dale and Donald and Daisy. So I went for Donald and Daisy and this one was $12.99. So I really wanted one of the hotel pins. They do a different pin for every hotel. There was two for Coronado, there was this one, and then there was also an anniversary one with the three Caballeros on it. It's just Mickey in front of Coronado, which I thought was quite cute. So yeah, $9.99 for that one. In Animal Kingdom, I didn't get to meet, well, we got to see Mickey in this outfit, but I really wanted to meet Mickey and Minnie together, but we just didn't have time. Safari Mickey and Safari Minnie. They were 9 99 each. And then these next two I got in, as you come out of Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. There's like a little shop, it's outside. And there I found this pin. I just loved it. It's one of my new favorites. Um, obviously it was a new ride, we hadn't done it before. 
yeah, I just thought it was so cool. Um, and the first time, I was like, this is going to be one of my favourites. Forever. I need the pin. Look, slides up and down. So cute. So yeah, it's Mickey and Minnie on their way for their picnic. And then it's got the railroad at the top. So that was 12 99 I couldn't find a Toy Story Land pin that I really liked. So when I saw this one, that's Wheezy's my favourite. It can kind of represent Toy Story Land. And obviously he's at the end of some key. And yeah, I love Wheezy. So that one was 9 99 In the Star Wars shop in Disney Springs, I found this one. DJ Rex from Ogre's Cantina. Like I said, Ogre's Cantina was one of my favourite things that we did. So I thought this would be a nice pin. Also in Disney Springs, in the main pin shop, I found Flint. This was $12.99. This one was also $12.99. I think it must be part of the, it is a 50th, the Vault collection. Because it's that kind of like vintage style. In Magic Kingdom, we watched the Dapper Dans. I love them. I think they were incredible. I could watch them for hours. They were funny. They were amazing. Um, and when I saw this pin, I was like, oh, so cute. So it's Mickey and Donald at the Dapper Dans. And that one was $9.99. Frozen, again, is one of my favourites. Olaf is one of my favourite characters. And my dad actually found this pin. And I was like, I have to have it. I just love that part. And I love Oda. So that one was also $9.99. And then the last like actual pin, well, pin that I know what pin it is, that'll make sense in a minute, is a food and wine pin. To go with my new cup, there was a figment one. And it's got Epcot International Food and Wine Festival 2022 on his little cooking pot. And then it says, just one spark cooks my creation. And this one was $17.99. The other thing that I found, well, there was a lot of mystery box pins. This one I found in the Frontierland shop. That was somewhere earlier. And that was $17.99. They're Fantasyland pins, but they're all... They're Beauty and the Beast. I'm not quite sure why it just says Fantasyland. But they're Beauty and the Beast style pins. Each box contains two random pins and a limited release. There's ten. So you can get Belle. Maurice, Princess Belle, uh, Lumiere, Beast, LeFou, The Singing Girls, uh, Gaston, Mrs. Potts and Chip, or Cogsworth. I'd be happy with any of them, but we are aiming for Gaston. And then I also found these, I want to say it's Animal Kingdom, Tiny Kingdom, 24 pin collection. I don't know which one to start with. So there's three pins in here. This was 19 99 It's got like a little map. That's all the pins. So I tell you they've done different volumes. Series 3, I see. Okay, so there's obviously been other series. Right, first one. It's a little Pluto name badge. Dumbo. That's so cute. Okay, last one. The flying carpet. And Princess Jasmine's castle. Ah, oh, I'm quite happy with those. Are we going to get gas on? Probably not, but we can hope. Oh my god. We got Gaston! I did not think that was going to happen. Okay, that's, yeah. I'm happy now. Like I said, shut them around. I'd be happy with any of them. Oh, it's Belle! I'm happy with those two. Cute. Oh, they look like they go quite well together as well. I think, checking, that rounds up. My whole Disney World haul. I think this is going to be a bit of a long one. So if you made it this far, thank you for sticking to the end. I hope you've enjoyed seeing everything. And yeah, keep an eye out for those vlogs. that should be coming very soon. I can't wait to share that with you. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye.